So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fit seven inch Jeep headlights into your Mark II Golf. Now there's two types of people out there. There's the people who believe that Mark IIs should be left absolutely standard or maybe fit a set of BBS RS wheels because they were an option when they were new. And there are people who are wrong. That's what they believe anyway. Um, I'm a firm believer it's your car. Do what you want and do what makes you happy with it. So guys, look, go crazy. Today we're gonna modify it. We're gonna do a bit of a Marmite mod. We're gonna fit some seven inch Jeep headlights to a Mark II Golf. Now, as we know, Mark II Golf headlights are terrible. Um, you can try and upgrade the bulbs for something a bit better, or you can put new bulbs in, and you can also go for a headlight wiring loom upgrade kit to increase the voltage to your lights. Um, that's a sensible option, but we're gonna go a little bit further. We're gonna fit some brand new cheap projector lights. Now, these are a bit of a Marmite mod because they do stand out a bit. Now, I have seen that you can get some silver and clear ones, look a lot more discreet so i might give those a go on my race car next time round. but these are the ones we've got today and we're going to have a look at getting them fitted now if i was at the workshop i'd have a whole host of tools with me to do this job but i'm not i'm at home so let's see what we're going to use to get this job done so we've got a rather dismal selection of tools we've got an ikea tool set okay we've got a sandy knife a random screwdriver the world's worst budget drill from B&Q, some, uh, some drill bits, of course we've got a Dremel, I think we're going to need that, and we've also got the headlight hole mounts, and we've got the headlights in here as well. Now, we've also got a spare grill and front panel, because who doesn't have one of those at home? Now, we've got some of these headlight mounting rings. These are designed to fit these seven inch lights into a Jeep or a Land Rover. Now, as you can see here, they're quite a a sturdy bit of kit. They weren't a huge amount of money on eBay and readily available. What you will notice is they've got the screws here um, that let you sort of wind it in to give you headlight adjustment. So that's really important because we're kind of fitting these into something they weren't designed to go into. And of course, if you've lowered your car, whatever reason, headlight adjustment is important. So we're fitting these so we've got some adjustment to uh, make sure the lights work correctly. Next up, we've got the lights. So we've got seven inch Jeep Land Rover headlights. We've got a halo projector, halo ring around the outside for indicators and DRLs. And then we've got a host of side lights, main beams, dip beams. Now on the back, they already come with a H4 fitting. So that's good. They'll go straight into your Mark II headlight plugs um, or loom adapters, whichever you choose to use. Um, now we've got these two connectors here for your DRL and your indicators so we can get those fitted up as well. So what you will notice is actually there's plenty of room for that headlight to fit so that in itself isn't a problem so we've just got to get that mounted to the front panel. Now as you can see the mounting ring actually fits quite nicely in the headlight aperture of the grille so we might have to cut some bits off we might not let's see how we get on. Now, so we're going to fit this mounting ring to the front panel. Now, to line it up, you need to make sure this little tab is pointing down. Really important. If that isn't straight down, your headlights are going to be wonky. Now, it catches on the Mark II front panel on these three headlight adjusters. So you need to trim the front panel back in these three places to get it to fit. Now I've got a really high tech solution for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a permanent marker and I'm just going to draw around it so I can see the bits I actually need to trim off. Now um, there's one at the top and one either side where these tricky headlight adjusters are and once I've trimmed that back it should fit nicely. Now I guess there's nothing left to do than cut some big holes in this front panel. <laughs>
what a great fit. So just a little bit of room for adjustment so we can give it a wiggle while it's uh, while it's in there and we get it lined up with the grill. But for a first attempt, I'm quite happy with that. Now again, because everything comes back to the grill being the center, the front of the car, however you want to look at it. These really need to line up with the uh, headlight holes in the grill. So to make sure we've got it level, I'm going by these. So just double checking before I fit everything securely that it all lines up and that it's ready to go. Now you can see here that this uh, clip that normally holds the headlight into the grill um, is actually catching. So I'm gonna to need to trim that off. Now to do that, I'm gonna just get my Dremel and I'm just gonna buzz it off. And we can see that that's taken that off nice and cleanly. So that shouldn't be getting in our way anymore. So let's line that up again. And yep, that looks absolutely perfect. So really happy with how that sits. So we can go ahead and get that mounted. We're gonna drill it, screw it. But before we do that, we need to mark it off so that when I take the grill off, we know exactly where these need to be drilled. So now we've got the light mount fitted to the front panel. Should just be a case of uh, unbolting it, popping the headlight in, and uh, making sure it all lines up nicely. Now, when fitting the headlight, um, you'll see that you've got this little E mark here. Now, that actually goes upside down at the bottom of the light. Um, you'd think that it would be at the top and look pretty, but no, cheap eBay lights, what do you expect? So make sure that is at the bottom when you fit them. Now with that mounted in the ring, um, we're just gonna put the grill back on just to make sure that that fits nicely. Yep, we're just gonna clip that down. And yeah, there we go. Really happy with that. Now I've just repeated the process on the other side. And there you go. That is a pair of seven inch Jeep headlights fitted into a Mark II Golf front panel. Now we've done all that, the only thing left to do is fit it up to the car, a little bit of last minute adjustment, and I think it's absolutely spot on. So I had to pop out and get some milk and some wine, because having a five-year-old at home, milk is very important, and having a wife at home, wine is very important. So I took that opportunity to go to the shop next to the barn. So here I am in the workshop. Now we've got the Mark II behind me torn down already. It was a job we were planning on doing before we had the lockdown here in the UK. So um, it's going to take me two minutes to get this front panel on and then we'll be good to go to see what it actually looks like. And this is the Mark II that we're fitting it to. So currently with no front panel and as if by magic, the new front panel with the seven inch lights fitted. Now you didn't think we would go to all this trouble without showing you what it actually looked like. And here we go, this is the Mark II with these lights fitted. So as it comes under there you can see, yeah that looks pretty good, I'm happy with that. So we've got the DRLs, side lights, main beam, main beam off. So look, really happy with that, looks really good, actually a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to be. Now, as I look at these lights one more time, yeah, I'm really happy with those, but I do need to take them out. I'm gonna strip it back down. I'm going to just tidy it up a little bit, paint over the edges that I cut so that they're not gonna rust in the future. And yeah, this is a really good mod that didn't cost much. And so that's done. So actually it wasn't that bad and it's something you can definitely do yourself at home with minimal tools. I think we just showed that today. So um, I'm back home now. I'm really happy with how the car turned out. I'm definitely going to try it again with a second set, but with the clear sort of white ones instead. Um, now, things I'd do differently. Um, definitely that Dremel was useless. <laughs> um, I'd say you're better off using a, an angle grinder. And if I was up at the workshop all day, then that's absolutely what I would have used. And I think just to get the light fitted into the front panel, probably best just 
spacing it out a little bit with a couple of spacers. Um, so guys, look, I think that's it. Um, we're done for the day. Car turned out great. So guys, just leaves me to say thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.